and welcome to AVR TV. In this late December issue, we are just going to give a quick update on some AVR tools. So let's start right away with the DB101. The DB101 is a display board reference design, including a small graphical LCD display with RGB backlights, a joystick and a piezo speaker. So this is the DB101 uh, down here and it's plugged into another board that I'm going to mention afterwards. Similar to the AVR Butterfly, the DB101 is not only a cool demo, but a handy development platform for the AT Mega 1281. The DB101 can also serve as a user interface module, for example for the BC100 battery charger kit that I've plugged into right now, and for customer applications or for other coming Atmel kits. The DB101 is in production and available for ordering. You should check it out on atmel.com, where you will also find uh, three application notes for it. I mentioned that the DB101 can be used as a user interface module for the BC100. And the BC100 is the long-awaited replacement for the BC kit reference design, demonstrating charge and discharge of uh, one or two lithium ion or nickel metal hydride batteries. Um, it is a platform for uh, developing battery chargers, smart chargers, UPS or battery backups, and power supplies. And while you're in the hardware department, Let's have a look at the EVK525. Now, the EVK525 is a simple board that plugs into the SDK525 USB starter kit. It helps you evaluate the AVR USB devices in conjunction with mass storage media with capacities up to several gigabytes. It has onboard NAND flash and data flash memories and SD and MMC connectors. Now, if I connect the SDK525 and EVK525 plug together, into my PC, all those memories become enumerated as removable drives, as expected. Also, the EVK525 package includes software that demonstrates the on-the-go possibilities of the AT90 USB parts, so they can work as embedded hosts. Now, if I just power up this board and connect it into an external USB memory, the demo application lets me copy a file from the onboard NAND flash to this USB pen drive that I just connected by pushing this joystick right here. So it can move data between two USB flash disks or between one of the local storages and an external USB disk. There's also a simple terminal emulator in here now where you can run commands through a spare UART. Pre-built software with the source code is included in the kit. So you can start working on your application right away. In the software department, build root for AVR32 replaces the build scripts from the AVR32 board support package for the AP7000 processors. It is based on an open source project called build root. Build root is used to build the toolchain, bootloader, Linux kernel and various useful applications before everything is wrapped together to a root file system that can be programmed into Flash or an SD card. You use this to make compact file systems that contain whatever applications and utilities you want for your AP7000 development card, like the SDK1000. You can get more information and downloads right here. Billroot is included in the Linux board support package for the AP7000 processor family, and this release candidate supports the SDK1002 and the network gateway. There's also an application note available on admin.com called AVR32003, build root for AVR32. Now, it's that time of the year again. At least here it is. So, thank you for watching AVR TV through 2007, and welcome back in 2008. We have some things brewing in our labs and fabs that we can't wait to show you. The ultimate target over here. What's that? Uh, Something new? Can't tell you about that, I'm afraid. Ah, it's very it's secret. Confidential, is it? In fact, that's it. Okay. <laughs> See you next year.